Well, this has been a rough couple of days. Um, yeah, I was gonna do a vlog on some Q&A stuff. Thank you for everybody for sending in your questions, and I'll get to those eventually, but I, I, you know, there's just a lot of stuff going on that, that I think is just more important to talk about right now. The shooting in Orlando and all of the other kind of homophobic attacks or potential attacks that were happening around Pride uh, this past weekend is, um, it's just bad. Stop doing that, okay? I mean, <laughs> it really kind of, it really kind of got me down and I didn't, um, yeah, I, you know, what, what do you do? What can you do in a situation like that? I've been talking with some, some other religious folks and some uh, occultists and ceremonial magicians and, 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 I, and we're, we're planning on doing kind of a, a large group ritual thing on June 26th, Sunday, June 26th. The, the plan right now, and, and more information will come soon, but the plan right now is for us to just kind of all, at some point on the 26th, um, in whatever time zone you're in, just do a, uh, a, a ritual or a meditation or a, a prayer service or whatever it is that you do um, with the aim of just kind of raising the enlightenment level of the world uh, to try and, uh, I don't know, to try and make things a little bit better here. If we as Gnostics believe that every person contains a spark of the sacred flame, then it's very important for us to recognize the dignity of that sacred flame and everybody and to do what we can to try and try and make their their journey a little bit easier please uh, join us on the 26th for that and um, I'll post a link in the down there about face about the Facebook event so you can go and click on it and that's where we'll kind of be collecting all of the information on it there will be some rituals and some prayer services and things available for you if you don't have something that you want to do on your own in other news I just discovered that the TV studio where we film Talk Gnosis and the other shows uh, on the network um, is going to be closed for most of this summer because they are doing some uh, upgrades to the lighting system and a few other things and um, that starts in about three weeks. I, I didn't realize it was going to be the entire summer. I only thought it was going to be a couple of weeks for those updates, but apparently it's going to be the whole summer. So we're working on trying to figure out some alternatives, but because most of our shows involve uh, talking to people from all over the world on Skype, um, that complicates things and regular television studios generally aren't set up to do that, to, to take multiple inputs from multiple different computers, each running a different instance of Skype. Um, technical behind the scenes stuff, but not terribly important. But the moral of the story is we may not be able to record for about eight weeks, which would really just, uh, it would, that would really, I would hate that. Um, we'd worked so hard to get into a rhythm and to get a, a little bit ahead on these shows, uh, on Talk Gnosis especially, so that we can have a couple of weeks of buffer um, should we have to miss a week for scheduling reasons or something. Um, we just we just can't keep up with eight weeks. We just have to shut down if that was if that was the case. So I'll keep everybody posted, of course, about how that's going. Um, moral of the story, I guess, is um, you know don't rely so much <laughs> on third parties. Uh, and you know we've toyed with the idea for years of buying our own equipment and you know kind of running our own running the show, you know, with, with high production value um, on our own equipment uh, instead of using the free community television stuff that we're using now. Yeah, I've been asking people on Facebook if you've, if you've at all considered becoming a patron uh, on our Patreon campaign, uh, this is the time to do it. I, I can't stress that enough. It's, it's really... It's, it's really kind of all hands on deck at this point, and, and if you have... Um, if you found value in what we've been doing, and you, uh, you know, it's it's helped you in some way, uh, please do consider donating, uh, pledging on our Patreon campaign. It's it's really very simple. 
you pledge a certain amount of money uh, per video or podcast that we release and then at the end of the month they charge your card for however much content we release which is anywhere around eight to ten um, things a month at this point so plan accordingly I, we're always trying to add new stuff so you know we, we hope to grow um, but I can't I can't grow if I can't rely on our recording capabilities it's really frustrating to me you know on top of all of this violence in the world and now you know we're we might have to, to compromise on what we're doing here on the network just because of uh, just because of money it's very frustrating definitely thank you to everybody who has pledged already and who has been a supporter for for many years at this point we have we've had people who have been supporting us for many many years and, and we are so grateful for all of their help and support we couldn't do this without you I, I was I wouldn't be able to have uh, quit my day job to do this stuff for you guys if it weren't for these supporters um, but the next level really is you know being able to raise more money buy more equipment and start paying other people as well to start making this stuff uh, even better and more frequently and more in-depth and all that stuff so I don't know I've rambled long enough thank you so much uh, for listening if you have to this point <laughs> if you haven't shut it off already and uh, uh, I will come back with the Q&A vlog um, and, and answer your questions um, hopefully next week or the week after as I can get to it but uh, as you might imagine things are <laughs> things are gonna be a little bit busy around here and uh, scrambly for the next couple of uh, couple of days or weeks at least so watch the space stay tuned and I will talk to everybody later